Hi, welcome to another Mum Hack Monday. I'm Bex. I hope you're new to my channel and I'm mum to Finley who is 11 months old and I make videos about parenting, lifestyle and motherhood after infertility. And I upload twice a week, once on a Monday and then I'm testing out different days of the week at the moment for the second video. So hit subscribe and the bell so you know when my videos will go up. So today's Mum Hack Mondays video is all about home hacks and um, it's just a collection of different handy hints and tips that will help to make your life easier at home so I'll just get straight on into it. So hack number one is to use salt to remove tea and coffee stains from inside your mugs. I love them at Bridgewater mugs and I have quite a collection of them but what I do find a little bit irritating about Emma Bridgewater mugs is that there's a little sort of dimple on the inside of the mug which can quite often collect sort of tea and coffee stains and they can be quite difficult to sort of get out. So an easy way of getting any tea or coffee stains out of your mugs is to just rub the inside of them with a little bit of salt and then just rinse off as usual and it takes any of the stains out. I used to work as a baker in a tea shop and they used to have china for all their afternoon teas. If you have a large amount of china that you have tea and coffee stains on and you just want to do a big bulk sort of clean of them, then if you put all the china in a bowl of sort of hot soapy water with a small capful of bleach in, leave overnight and then rinse a couple of times really well, again that will eradicate any sort of stubborn tea or coffee stains just to obviously make sure you rinse it really carefully. Hack number two is a really easy way to work out where to make the cut on balloons when you're putting them in the vase. I'll insert a clip to show you how to do this, but if you hold the flowers against the countertop and use the vase as a guide, um, then you can work out whereabouts you want the balloons to come out of the top of the vase. And then what's left over at the bottom beside the countertop is the way you want to make the cups. Another handy hint for flowers is that a shot of vodka or lemonade in the water of the vase helps to keep your flowers looking perky for longer. I like to use newspaper when I am peeling veg or prepping veg. Uh, just so I can put all the peelings or the onion skins or the, the pepper seeds and then I can just roll it up and then easily get rid of it and if you do recycle your food sort of peelings and scrapings then you can always pop that straight into the recycling bin. What I've also started trying to do is to prep veg in advance of meals and try and keep them in Ziploc bags in the fridge. So I started doing this just to try and save myself some time in the afternoons or the evenings when things get a bit fraught with Finley and I'm trying to make a meal. It's just easy to prep all the veg in one go um, and then have them ready to just sprinkle into dishes straight away rather than having to sort of prep veg every single evening at the worst part of the day where Finley's cranky. It's more likely to reduce waste as well because everything's prepped and you're more likely to use it. When dusting, I find that a clothes roller helps to keep the dust off light shades. And another handy hint that I got from, I think a channel's called How Jen Does It, to make sure that I dust the, um, the light bulb as well when I'm dusting the lamps. I didn't realise how much of a difference this makes to the brightness of the light in the room. I've also found that an A4 file holder um, is a great place to store cling film and tin file and keep them off your surfaces or keep them out of your drawers and it just means everything is to hand in one place. As we're doing up our house, um, the previous owner seems to be a bit rough when um, putting screws in and a lot of the screw heads on doors are damaged and so it makes it very difficult to try and get them out. An easy way of getting a screw out of something where the head's been damaged uh, and has sort of been worn away is to use an elastic band and put that over the screw head and put the screwdriver in and then turn it. The elastic band helps to draw the screw head out. And finally, if you have any stubborn jars when you're cooking and you want to get the lids off them, then knock it on the countertop a few times and this should break the vacuum. If it doesn't, then you can always use a teaspoon to just go around the little indentations in the, on the underneath of the jar lid 
and that should break the seal. Right, well, I hope you enjoyed my Mum Hack Monday video for this week. Uh, let me know in the comments below any other ideas for Mum Hack Monday's videos that you'd like to see. And don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell so you know when my videos go up. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!